How was that? Uh, have you checked the river levels yet? They still haven't updated it for some reason. <coughs> Not yet. Well, we just been past so the main bridge. You know where that boat's always parked by the park? It's hardly moving. And when I went to Better Marines, he said the water the water's slowed right down now. It's not as fierce as when we first come out. We're it's, almost out then. It's like a, just a gentle trickle coming past the park now. Mm. Easy. Good. Mm. Um, anyway, carry on. Intro. So welcome back to Taylor's Board. Today we're going to make our own table, aren't we? Yeah. And when we were making the bench video, we had to get rid of the old bench that was there, the red one. It's a nice uh, bit of hardwood, wasn't it? Yeah, and I thought we could use that for something. Mm. And then I thought, well, we've got all these benches all around the back of the boat. And I thought, there's no table. We don't want that horrible plastic table that we have. That would be rubbish. So I thought, why don't we turn the old bench into a table? Which is exactly what we did. Yeah. Oh. Ah. oh, you Israelite! What happened there? Whack my finger on the other bolt that's hanging down. Free from desire. That looks like a piece of beach. No. Or ash. Where's my coffee? I need some coffee, man. Mmm! What's black as you're at? Look at it. Rain. This is really nice wood, it's solid yeah, hardwood. Might as well try and reuse it. Yeah. So, to begin reclaiming this wood, we've first got to cut off the bad parts, the rotten parts. Why is that at an angle? Because it slipped when you were doing it. Did it? Yeah, it slipped like that. Oh. You not feel it? Right, I need to take a look at off. Like right that. It's not very good that but anyway it's not So annoyingly, we had to get rid of a couple more pieces around the hole where the umbrella used to be. Once we were done chopping off all the bad bits, we had a slight problem. What, and then join it? And then round it off. And then... It wouldn't be a very big table though. To make sure both pieces of wood are the exact same length, we put one over the other and just cut off the uh, extra length. Now with both bits of wood the same length, the table simply wasn't big enough with only those two bits of wood. So we had to get something for the middle, but luckily we had an old bit of ply that we stole from the bins. Yeah, don't judge us. <laughs> The problem with the bit of ply though, only one side was actually properly straight. So we had to try our best to make the other side straight as well. Middle. Turn the middle round. That, that side's better. And that's the back. And then. All we do is put some wood filler in and sand it all and varnish it all. Remember those black clouds? Before the heavens opened up, we rushed to get a couple of support beams in on each side of the table. And we used standard wood glue for this, and along with a couple of screws. And then, you couldn't have guessed it, it started raining. 
trust me to pick everything up apart from the one I want. That's our middle. As I baffled to how we were going to make this table circular, Dad ran an old trick out of the book. Oh dear. Now unfortunately, the screws we had were either too long or too short, and this became a slight problem. Obviously the wood glue is no good and the screws are no good. So then we came up with a better idea of just using a single piece of ply instead of two pieces of ply. So we took off the old bits. And that will be ready to take our bracket in the middle there. Now I told Dad that this screw might become a bit of a problem. This was real quality wood, it was getting really hard to cut through it. After coming a bit the long way. Good thing that's meant to it's not it's not a very good jigsaw. I think it probably was at its time but What's happening? Flip it over. Remember that screw? What? Flip it over. Oh, sorry. Do you have a feeling what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> oh my god. Honestly. Oh my giddy arm. What did you do without me? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have thought you'd cut through that, wouldn't you? How's the table? You like it? Bit, yeah. Could do with two, really, couldn't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Once we had clamped down the table, it was time to start sanding. And once the old varnish was off, the wood looked as good as new. Now we had a slight problem with the middle bit of wood being slightly higher than the other two, but this problem would quickly be resolved by just simply sanding it down. About two hours of sanding later and a Sahara sandstorm, the table was finally sanded. We used Dulux all weather undercoat for this. Right, time to begin our first layer of protective undercoat. And then we added some more wood glue, and then we added some more wood glue between the cracks. Because, you know, we want it to look nice and smooth. So to support the table, we bought a 35 pound stainless steel removable table leg. But before we put the hold off of the table leg down, we have to find out right the best there? position for the table. Yes. Plenty of room. Why are your legs off the floor? What do you mean? Is it too high? It's not really too high this for mum, is it? I just put my thigh on. Ah, put my thigh on, that's all. Um, where's mum going to sit then? Doing. Where she, what do you mean where is she going to sit? Around the bloody table. I'll be. I can sit here and sit there. Yeah, but then you're too far away from it. Huh? Then you're too far away from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I've got a drive, haven't I? And that's you know. We can take it down. What's the point when we go cruising along on a summer's day? We might want to put our tea and coffee on it. Yeah, well, we've got to think about swinging over it. <laughs> yeah, just put it there then. 
And that's just stupid because we need to get off and do the routes. How many people have these on the back of their decks? The only alternative you've got is right at the back, here. Yeah. It's not going to be out when you're steering, is it? The boat's, that isn't going to be there when you're steering, is it? Well, if you want a cup of tea or a sandwich. It doesn't have to be, you can take it out and move it. But when I'm driving, you know? You can't use any tall cups because, look, Dad might smack it off. Yeah. The only other thing I can do is get some more of those magnets. You need to put it in the middle, really, about there, don't you? Gosh, do you reckon? Well, I can't yeah, drive. Dad needs to move. Middle. The only thing I can do is get the magnet, more of those magnets, and screw magnets underneath on each hole so the thing becomes magnetic. So you can move the table around as where well you want it. No, 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 go and spend more money, Andy. Control. I don't know how much they are. Over £200. Well, you didn't tell me that anyway. So you got a 30 quid fucking one, didn't you, probably? Which is cheap and nasty and don't work. So then we have to go and spend another 75 no, quid no, on another you one. You buy cheap and nasty things to make you happy. It's well, a, why? It's a good because you moan about things being expensive all the time. I know. It's a good, it's a good manufacturer. He's wasted one. money because he's bought that other one, Josh, and now he's bought this one. It's an e-pal. It's a good manufacturer, but now I've had to buy another one because it's not. It's only going to get 60% of the electric in from the solar panels. And I need an well, MPT. I didn't know that, did I? But I'm keeping it as a spare because they do, after three or four years, blow up. So we'll have a spare one on board. So I'm not that worried. Where do you want the table? I said in the middle! There! So it looks straight. <laughs> but you can't because you've got to drive the boat. Yeah. So, I don't know. There? <laughs> well, I think because I've got to... If I can stand there and do it. Move and then. Mine out the way. And then when I'm going into locks. Yeah, okay. We can always just take it off, can't we? I'm oh. not spending more money, Andy, to no. do a magnet thing. Move it around. No. Just screw it in there. You're happy with it there then, darling, yeah? How about you, Josh, there? Yeah, really care. You'd better put a circle round it. I'm just getting it out. No, I want it this... Down. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? I just yeah. saw something jump right up there. These have got to be straight, Andy, this bit, haven't they? Out from outside the boat as well. I wanted it completely in the middle, but you, you can't control the boat. No, we just have to take the table down when we're going along. Most of the time the canals are straight, so... But it's not in the middle? No, it's not completely in the middle. No, I know. Well, you can't put it in the middle, because you just said you can't put it in the middle. You can... Maybe if you move it forward more. Yeah, but you can't go on to the other... You can go on to the other hatch, but... I think that's probably about in the middle. Yeah. But then Dad can't... You better get round there, you can't... Is that in the middle, Josh? About? No, not quite. I think. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, I then. can I can cut the pipe if you want. A bit lower. No, because you're botching. Straight. No, we're not doing that. Hold on. Yeah, that's all right. I can manage with that. I think. Are you going to be knocking into the table now and again? Then. If there's anything high on it. No, I mean your body. A little bit. You've got a cup of tea on there, haven't you, then? Can't put a glass on there. That sort of glass you can. That's so why I said I could cut it, but like Josh no, said, I won't get a know. good cut. No, it'd just be ruined. After about three hours of bickering later, I was trying to drill eight holes for the stainless steel bolts. Clear up the little bits of metal made by the drill, we just use a little magnet. That was us adventuring out again. Tabby! Once the holes were drilled, it was time to put the foot in place and insert the bolts. Even Tabitha came out to see what was going on. Now the table was in place, Dad gave the first undercoat layer a key. Any little impurity, brush bristles, takes all that out and then gives the new paint, the next coat, a key. And on went the second layer of undercoat.
So we're not cheaping out on the paint, but to be fair, the original owner left this tin of paint here. We're using International and for the table, the colour is Bounty. When we eventually repaint the boat, it will be that colour as well. Now before we put on the next layer, we need to give it another key. Now it's time to put on the second to last top coat. So we didn't want the table just to be red, so we decided to make the bit in the middle a different colour. Of course using masking tape not to ruin the red parts. And now it's time for its first wave of international cream. So the time has come for me to edit this video, um, table making video. Although as you may be able to see it's not quite finished yet. So I have waited patiently to finish it but the weather hasn't really um, allowed us to do that and we've been quite busy lately but as you can see it does look like it's like been through hell and it looks like one of those machines where we have to scratch the coin to get the uh, get the coin to work um, because dad's given it a key ready for the next paint but we haven't had the weather to paint it yet and as you see the master tape still on it but Maybe I'll see if you look closely, there's cracks in the middle. Um, and that's because, yeah, it's fallen apart already. But that's not really our fault. It's absolutely terrible wood glue. And it's just, yeah, it's just fallen apart. So we've got to try and rethink this, get some better wood glue. And yeah. I've got some anyway. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> well, we've got some, apparently. Um, but I'm not sure when we're going to get it done. So I've got to get this video out for you guys, so yeah, you will see it in future videos anyway, the finished product. But yeah, that's near enough what it's going to look like anyway, minus the blue lines. And then when we were painting it, I thought, what does that look like? And then I was like, oh, I know exactly what it looks like. Don't come down this road. Or don't come on this boat, actually. But... Yeah, if you want to know what we painted it with, we've um, invested in some international, which is Dad says is like the top tier of paints really for your narrow boats and boats alike. Um, and for the middle, we've used cream, 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 cream. Uh, o twenty seven for the middle, and for the sides, it's called Bounty, I think. Bounty Red, and that's international as well, and it is really, really good quality oil-based paint. Um, so yeah, just wanted to clear it up. Not quite finished yet, but got to get the video out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> we've we've finished. The, no, we haven't finished the table, and it's like 20 days later. It's the 25th of February today, and we filmed this on. Well, we began filming it on the 5th of February. Um, the weather, isn't it? But we'll probably make a couple of parts because the video is a bit too long and we still haven't finished the table yet. We've put the first top coat on but we still need to put like a cream stripe through it. Um, and that should that should make it look quite nice. So we're going to hopefully do that at some point uh, today or tomorrow or next day, I don't know when. Uh, but yeah, there's probably going to be a couple more parts of this, or at least one more. Mm. Um, and yeah, we're quite happy with it, aren't we? Yeah, it's turned nice out table. Turned out quite nice. It's not perfect, but it's the only one. That's yeah. what's good, it's individual. And we made it out of reclaimed wood. Looks quirky. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm. And we'll see you in the next one. That's Rat Master. So welcome back to Taylor's Board. Um, Today we're gonna try and um oh, let me just start again. <laughs>
<laughs> the outro video for the table. <laughs> Number one. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. I've lost the energy. Picard to number one, come in. Go for it. Here we go. Oh. Oh, where's me pen? Where's me pigeons? Section six. Alright. Section seven. Mm. Mm. It's so dramatic. It just stresses me out this weather now. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go as fast as I can with this bloody weather. So proud of himself. Nice one, there goes the table. <laughs> I think it might be about inch off, you're gonna have to take all those bolts out and do it all again. No way. That would be <laughs> fine. Joking. That's where mum wanted it. She's I got a really expensive brush coming actually. About 25 quid worth. Ooh, so you didn't tell her that, did you? So am I right here? Yeah. You're going to go anywhere, are you? I know, but there's only a rope there, saves me. Well, film it. Thanks. See, we're holding on to the chairs, too, too. I think it'll be doing this in a minute.